They're in the gate. And they're off in the 78th running of the Fountain of Youth Stakes. From the rail, Ladam Bro comes out firing and looks for the early advantage. This big favorite door knock is a chilly second on the outside. And back to third, it's Real Macho. Then it's Frankie's Empire. And out kicked in the early run is Danced and Groom. Dornock's going to make the fractions here. Dornock up and around Ladombro, who's back to second while on a hold. Real Macho is there third with Frankie's Empire in the clear fourth. And he's top four or five ahead of Dancing Groom, who's last of all. The opening quarter complete in 24 and 1. To the back stretch they go. It's Dornock and Luis Saez settling into a nice rhythm on the top end. They're in front by a length. Latched on to him in a flanking position is Real Macho second with Ladombro third at the rail. Frankie's Empire kept out in the clear while racing in fourth. These top four are well clear of Dancing Groom, who's being outrun early. They go to the first finish line in the 2024 Fountain of Youth Stakes. They went to half in 48 seconds flat, very reasonable pace. It's Dornock in front by a length. From the outside, Real Macho. From the inside, Ladon Bro. Frankie's Empire giving the green light to launch a four-wide bid and well back to Dancing Groom. Around the far turn they go. Ladon Bro tries to quicken up on the inside of Dornock. These two now two and a half better than Frankie's Empire. Real Macho puts the cue in the rack as they run to the top of the stretch. It's a confident Luis Saez on big favorite Dornock. He's inside a quarter of a mile from home and in front. Ladon Bro fighting as hard as he can, trying to stick with him. Three back to Frankie's Empire and they're at the top of the stretch. It's Dornock asked to finish the job at the inside. Ladon Bro running his heart out, but he's back to second as Dornock is too much horse. Dornock clear with the 16th to go. The fountain of youth stakes goes to Dornock. Dornock passes the seasonal debut test and wins. Close for second. Ladon Bro or Frankie's Empire. Real Macho is fourth in 143 and three. It's your favorite, Dornock taking the Coolmore Fountain of Youth. Well, that's what he's supposed to do. I mean, look, Ladon Bro challenged him for just a little bit for an eighth of a mile, made the pace halfway on us. It was still an easy first half of the race. He, he edged away. He worked harder than I thought he would have to work to win, but he still gets the, the 50 points and he gets another win. He's still so immature. He just plays around. I mean, you said 143 and three and looked at me and I shook my head. Yeah. On this racetrack today, what we've seen so far, 143.64 is not Kentucky Derby favorite material at all. And that's the way he ran. I mean, Ladon Bro would be 200 to one right now for the Kentucky Derby, and yet he had trouble putting him away. But if you're trainer uh, Danny Gargan, this is the perfect race for you. He gets a win, he gets the points, he didn't get gutted, you know, he didn't have a tremendously hard race because the competition wasn't hard enough to make him run all out. Gets a little bit of a blow out of it and he improves for the next race. And it seemed like Luis Saez around the turn was almost giving him a breather as well. You heard from Danny, he was managing expectations. So where do we see him again? I mean, we'll, hopefully we'll hear from Danny, but Florida Derby, is this a, a good prep race for whatever well. comes next? Look, I, I'm not saying he can't win the Florida Derby or the Bluegrass. I'm not saying he can't win the Kentucky Derby. That performance won't do it. Not even close. But that, that was not a good race no, for Dorna. No, but, but you it can, was his first start You of can the only year. beat who you're running against. And if you right. ask me what I learned out of today, nothing. Well, Speakeasy scratched. Lock scratched. Victory Avenue scratch. I mean, he was running against a, a glorified allowance yeah. field, and he wins. He ran against but similar I, competition at Keeneland, beat him by six and a half in much, fast, in much faster style. But than I he didn't did learn here. anything today, other than he wins and he gets the 50 points.